Hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of Lawrence Plays Factorio. Now I'm on episode uh, 9, I think. So, uh, yes, episode 9. Let's have a quick refresher of uh, what happened last time. As far as I can remember, we built up some lead mining up here, which is coming through very, very slowly because it's waiting for the coal to get used up. I'm not surprised. Well, I'm not sure why that's quite so slow, but we'll have a look at that in a minute. Over here, the Jeeva light was um, finished off. This is now clogged up with, with uh, copper, so I need to start using more of that as well, which has unfortunately then, of course, stopped the uh, steel production. Over here, we have some lead production. Uh, lead? No, this one's tin. Tin production going on over here. Um, so we've got the, um, the bobmonium being turned into silicon, crushed stone and tin, and all of that's being dealt with for certain values of dealt with. Up here, this has, because the uh, jeevalitis production has stopped, we've not got quite as much stone coming through here as you had before, which is um, probably a good thing because there's quite a lot coming through from the tin mines. Uh, but uh, we'll see how that copes once we get it all going. I think I'm probably going to have to upgrade the belts over here soon um, in order to get a bit more stone flowing through here. Uh, but once I've done that, then hopefully it'll all run nicely. So let's see. These steam engines are all running quite happily. I'm surprised they're not pulling in a lot of coal in order to keep them going. Or maybe I dumped a load of coal into them when I had, a I had the problems earlier to try and just get, desperately get them working. Or perhaps um, we're just not using quite as much power as I thought we were. It's also an option. I guess that's because all the mi all the miners have got backed up while I've been building up other things, uh, like the, uh, the tin mine and the lead mine and so on. But we have a look down here. Yeah, so we've got a bit of each of these resources, so now I can start thinking about um, think about what the next stage is. As far as I remember, I ran into a bit of a problem with um, trying to produce a flare stack for my steel uh, supply uh, because I'm, I'm going to have a load of spare hydrogen that I don't need. I couldn't build a flare stack because that required another level of circuits, which I, which I obviously didn't have. So now I think let's have a look at let's have a look at those. Basic circuit boards, the ones I've got um, being made already, they're the yellow ones on the belts here. The ones I needed were basic electronic boards, contain electronic components and solder. Solder contains resin, which I believe comes from trees, and, sol and solder plate, which comes from lead and tin. Okay, I've got those. The electronics components come from tinned copper wire and carbon. Tin comes from, tinned copper wire comes from copper and tin. Okay, that's fine. Carbon comes from... Coke and steam, or charcoal and oxygen. I've got oxygen. I haven't got charcoal. Charcoal comes from wood pellets, comes from cellulose, comes from wood. So that's manageable. I can do that. That's all in assembly machines um, or or furnaces. Alternatively, oh, but I haven't got this technology yet, so I can't do it that way. Can't do that. Could research this one. Where does coke come from? Coke comes from crushed coal. It comes from coal in a crusher. That's also straightforward enough. But again, takes a, uh, a research I haven't got yet. So let's get this research. Uh, it's a it's nice, nice early one, so it's fairly cheap. And in the meantime, there's probably not much point in setting anything up along those lines. I might build something, some um, circuit assembly machines, because at the because they're a lot faster than the basic than the assembly machines for the same sort of things I can I can actually manage. So at the moment, I've got. Oh, I do have assembly machines too, but they require the basic electronics boards, which I'm about to try and produce. And assembly machines one, um, and steel of course. Everything needs steel these days. Uh, but looking at these machines, that's a crafting speed of half. That's 0.75. That has a crafting speed of one, but can only make circuits. So if I'm going to be making circuits, then this is a much better one to be using. But this, so this requires iron gears, basic circuit boards, and iron plates. So let's make some of those over here, where the rest of my um, where this is happening as well. Make make cogs in that one, and then make assembly machines in that one. I need some of that, some of that. And probably no more than one stack of those, I think. Okay, and I've now finished the coal processing, so I can start um, I can start making coke as well. So what do I need to make the um, do it the wood chip way? Because I've got I've, I feel that let me just check that again. Carbon. So coke and steam, um, or charcoal and oxygen. Okay, out of those, to be honest, coke and steam does feel a lot easier. It's another thing to be making elsewhere, though. Um, because this requires water, I'm slightly loath to do it in the middle of my bus, but I could do that anyway. I could do that. It's just going to be basically it's just going to be um, coal several steps. Okay, let's let's put it on the on the bus. I'm going to start having problems with these. Um, cliffs fairly soon with the bus but uh, but for now I'm, I'm for now I'm okay and I'll try and expand it as I as I go along so let's come down here I haven't got coal on the bus at the moment so I'll need to go and uh, 
Go and fetch that. I have this feeling I'm going to need more belts for that. Here we go, here's coal, so go under here, down here, and let's leave space for wood as well, because, right, this cliff is starting to get annoying. So that's going to come across here, under here. Oh dear. Um, oh, I can make this one go underneath instead. These short underground belts are quite frustrating. Not sure why I'm bothering with wood right now, but I'll probably need it sooner or later. There we go. Right, this bus is getting quite big and also quite colourful. Coal, oh, let's bump. Let's, oh, let's just build radar mark twos. Okay, could do that anyway. How's my, how is my stone crushing going? Because that was running out. I was running out of space for that at one point. Okay, I need to probably put down some more stone floors just to use some more of this up. Let's do that quickly while I'm um, trying to decide what what on earth I'm going to do for the rest of this episode. Stone to the floor. And some more, la 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 la. There we go, that's all of that stone. And this makes, uh, makes me move around a bit faster as well, which is quite nice. So, down here, I'm going to need a crusher. I'm going to need to learn to spell. I need st stone bricks for that, which haven't made it down here. That's something I'm going to regret, regret later, I can tell. Some of that. And fern or something. Okay, let's. Circuits, electronic components, carbon, coke. Just crushed coal, which is coal. Okay, so let's get started with that one. I've got an empty row there. Should deal with that. At this point, I'm not sure it's worth it. Underground, of that one. I'm going to increase up from 50 as well. I keep running out. Okay, let's pretend that column was deliberate. And it's somewhere to, I don't know, put power poles or something. Okay, so we've got wood coming out. Oh, no. Coal coming out here. And that goes into an ore crusher. Put that to inserters. It goes into an ore crusher, there we go, which feeds it into... You'd think I'd be able to remember more than one step, wouldn't you? Crushed coal is made into coke by a furnace. Coke is made into... Oh, this is another thing that requires chemical plants. Fortunately, I've got steel now, so I can actually make those. Uh, okay, so that's a furnace. I require that as well. And then into chemical plant, which requires basic electronic ports. Oh... How do I not circular dependency? What's what other ways are there to make this stuff? Make um, these and make carbon. Coke and steam is the suggested way, but that requires a chemical plant, and I can't build those. And that requires a chemical plant as well. What, this can't be right. Chemical plant, yeah, requires iron, electronics boards, which require all of this nonsense. Carbon made by coke and steam, or from that's coal processing, so I should be able to do that everything in there before I do coal processing too. And that still needs coke anyway. That soy still needs a chemical factory anyway. And so does this one. It's only this one, and this is making this is recycling electrodes. I don't understand. Okay, let's have a look on the internet. Right, so I've looked on the internet, and apparently you can make also make ca uh, carbon in a liquefier, um, which I shouldn't need the advanced circuits for. So let's give that a shot. Liqu we're, there we go. Okay, let's give, give some try. I wonder how much worse they are. Okay, so that feeds into the liquefier, which I've lost in my inventory. There it is. And making carbon, which requires coke and steam. Put that way around, because then I can put a boiler on this side of it. Mark 1 should be plenty, I think. And then I need to get water down here. Um, I wonder if I should have water on the bus. That sounds a bit messy. Oh, I've got water over here, that's handy. Yeah, pump. And underground pipes. Don't have any underground pipes. There are my underground pipes. Okay, that's that hooked up. This should all now work. This should get me the coke I wanted. Next step is to add that to tinned copper wire, which is made from copper cable and tin plate and requires these assembly machines. Which I'm going to use because they're faster, as discussed earlier. So if I put that there, so I'm making copper wire here, tinning it here, and I'm making those there. Okay, so here I need belt containing copper and tin. Okay, that's pretty horrible. <laughs> oh well. Right, that's can I make oh I should yeah. Can I make sled salt? The solder plate. No, I can't make solder plate in this one. I can make solder in those though. Oh, so I can apparently. 
Oh no, solder plate, that was the one. To be made in a metal mixing furnace. Okay. Fortunately, I can build that. I want you to make solder plate. Oh, this is going to need fuel as well, isn't it? Oh. I'm going to need wood down here. Let's use the wood. Yeah, I've got that right. Good. Resin. <coughs> Comes from wood in a construction machine. Assembly machine, whatever. Okay, yes. It is, it is an assembly machine for that. And another one for the resin. Oh, I've lost the track. Uh, <laughs> <coughs> oh, I can use a small one. But solder. Resin, solder plate. Cool. That's that. Right, so I've got my solder being made down here, I've got my electronic components being made up there, and then I need basic circuit boards as well, because of course I do. Can I squeeze that in there? No, it's going to have to go there. So there's room to come up and then go down again. In fact, better idea. This comes off over this way, yeah, sure. Then it meets up with that coming down the other way. Puts them onto the same belt. They come up here. I have another assembly machine there, takes that and that, it outputs the electronics boards. Right, so apart from the fact that I'm running, basically running out of lead, I think that should now all work. Let's um, try powering it up. That was complicated. <laughs> I mean, I know it's what I was letting myself in for when I started doing angel bobs, but that seemed excessive. <laughs> right, well, let's let this um, run for a minute and see what happens. Oh yeah, something up here isn't working. Oh right, I need you to make crushed coal. I need you to be a short handed surgeon. Hooray! It's actually working. That's not bad for. Not only had to debug a couple of things. Now the big question, of course, is: Is this rate of production enough? And the obviously the answer to that is no. So I suppose I should try and work out where the um, the bottlenecks are. This, this is going to be something I'm going to need to build a lot of, I can tell. So I should be trying to get everything in the, in the right proportions. What might be quite nice down here, what if I just try and get both types of um, basic circuit board onto the same belt, just to keep things a bit saner further down the bus. Across here with that going like that. Uh, that's two jumps, that's okay. I can, I'm not sure why I'm clearing all of these trees out, but I suspect I'm going to need this space sooner or later. Okay, that felt like quite quite hard work, as I say, but um, it seems to be working quite smoothly. So what's next? Why why was why was I building these things? Uh, what did I need them for? To tell you the truth, the answer is I haven't foggy. I think one of the things I need to make at some point is going to be um, military science, which I could potentially drop onto this belt if I make it down here. Military science is going to use a lot of steel, of course. I haven't got a huge amount of because I'm not using copper. Uh, is this? Ah, oh, yes, that's what I wanted. I needed to um, to build a flare stack, and that required these um, novelty novelty uh, circuit boards. So let's do that, and then I can get steel production running constantly without worrying about building up too much hydrogen and it, and it grinding to a halt. And once I've got um, and once steel is no longer a problem then I can start producing piercing ammunition and therefore uh, grey science and I can start making better weapons. Although that said, the biters have been fairly well behaved for the last um, episode or two. So maybe it's not quite as bad, maybe it's not quite as imminent as I think it is. That said, that said, I'm fully aware how bad an idea it is to say things like that because you'll immediately, if you, if you take the biters for granted too much, you'll just find they come back and they're much, much stronger. Let's see, can I build any sort of useful things for letting the pressure off yet? Uh, yes, I can. Overflow valve looks excellent. Let's have one of those. Now, an overflow valve is fantastic. It allows you to... Um, basically, it'll only let fluid flow through or gases flow through when the um, input is over 80%. So these will, these will, will, all these tanks will stay at 80% hydrogen. So if I need some hydrogen later, I've already got at least a bit of it. Um, but it'll stop the filling up completely and it'll just flare it off and blow hydrogen into the atmosphere and um, probably upset the biters because I'm sure that's pollution of some sort. But, eh, never mind. They're just biters, right? Should I build another electrolyzer? That would double my um, steel production. I think that's probably a good idea. Oh yeah, I ran out of power last time. I'm wondering what... Oh, 
The electrolyzer is running flat out, it's not using that much, it's the miners that use most of the power. Okay, I don't feel too bad about shoving an extra electrolyzer in that. There we go. And now I can put in another chemical as well. There. Have a bit more um a bit more steel coming through now, I think. How's that how's that tank holding up? I'd say that's yeah, that's going up slowly. Okay, that should be fine. And it's coming down here as fast as these sort of belts can. Um, which isn't very fast. That'd be another nice thing to have. What, what what do I need to get better belts? Yellow belts, tin and basic transport belts. That's not too bad. That's manageable. Tin's coming through quite quickly. And these are steel and bronze. Okay, what's bronze? How do I bronze? Molten bronze. Great. Molten bronze comes from... Oh, copper and tin. That's... That's doable. Yeah, can manage that sometime. Okay, but not not yet. I don't need. I don't think I need tier three belts yet. But let's go for tier two. So this needs. T was it tin? For yes, tin. Tin and iron and belts. So I know I'm building belts up here, and my it's always nice to keep that sort of thing all in one place. But I don't think I realistically can. It's the, the effort of winding the tin back up there is actually not. Getting the tin up there is manageable, but then later on I'll be wanting to get bronze up there for the third tier and so on. So I think it's actually probably just easier to come down here and do my uh, belt construction down here. Cogs into belts, level 2 belts, and over that also needs cogs. So I need... Learn to plan lines, that'd be good. It comes in like that, this comes across here. Good, all types of belts. Now the thing is, I'm probably also going to want the undergrounds and the inserters, so that's so I'm going to need to build all of them down here essentially. And I'm also going to want to have the um, splitters. Yes, that will work. Splitters, and then I'll need to do this. How do I even need to do that actually? I've lost track. Um, This is a mess. Uh, only copper cable as well. Oh my goodness. Right. Uh, <laughs> all right, let's forget the advanced splitters for now. I'll probably end up making quite a few by hand, but never mind, I can deal with that. I think that's probably right, except that this needs, to, yeah, this needs lead as well, so I need this to come around here as well. Like that. Okay, that's probably it. Let's find out. Let's see if I've missed anything. Now I want to have 400 of those. Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> oh, wooden stone. Oh, I don't have stone anymore. Time to run another belt. Yay! As I ran out of space in the last one here. Gonna try and find a narrow bit of that to go through. Stone, 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 yes, stone. More undergrounds. Don't need that many walls at all. I don't need any ball bearings, I don't need that. Don't I need another box. <laughs> I end up carrying so much rubbish around. Put all my wood away. I do need some wood. Definitely don't need that. I can go straight in there. Okay, that's a bit better. I'm carrying a lot less rubbish now. <laughs> what was I doing? Oh yes, this. I was really worried then. <laughs> this is about the point where I think I should have started the game without cliffs because it would have been a lot easier to root all of this stuff. But then, from there, it's only a short step to having a game without fighters, and then at that point, you, well, you're only playing with half the challenges. Oh, incidentally, I've noticed that um, a lot of people consider the uh, Bob's Greenhouses mod to be um, a little bit cheaty. It takes away a lot of the uh, challenge of making wood. Um, I have used that, as you 
have seen in episode 2, fairly early on anyway. Think I should remove it? Answers in the comments. Ooh, well, I'm under attack. Nah, we're doing okay over there. Defending nicely. Okay, you wood and, s wood and stone. There we go. Gajillion the time lucky. One of the things that's annoying me about this mod is the way it deals with the different types of inserters and you have to just remember they're not different colours or anything like that. You just have to re happily remember which one you're trying to use. Oh, I need more whiskey. Okay, what are you missing? Cogs. Right, this seems to all be working quite nicely now. I'm getting my um, faster belts through at a decent rate. The underground belts are coming through at a a less decent rate, but uh, but not not too bad, manageable. <laughs> this whole thing's a mess. Ooh, how far how far underground do these go? Ooh, six. Excellent. That's going to be very useful. <laughs> Get rid of a lot of this mess with that. In fact, I could start doing the a more normal bus where the bus carries on on the surface, and the things you're pulling off it go underneath, and that would be quite a lot neater. Um, and uh, yeah, it'd be a lot less messy, and it'd be a lot easier to run multiple things across the bus as well. That I shall look forward to. <clears throat> okay, so one of the reasons I was doing this was because I'm worried about the throughput on this belt. Now, at the moment, that seems to be okay, largely because this is getting completely clogged up by by me not using enough copper. That's probably not really a good thing, but it is keeping things in check. Uh, I don't really know how to boost the copper usage. I'm not making enough, well, I am making enough iron and the steel is stopped? Why is the steel stopped? You've got full on, oh, you're full on output. You're full on hydrogen gas, which is this one. What? That's full, so why isn't that venting it? The input to that should be absolutely packed, jammed full as anything. Let's take some of these. Uh, let's use one of those here to demonstrate. Oh, I don't even need to. Alright, let's not. <laughs> right, why is my hydrogen... Why is my hydrogen not getting vented? Let's go and find out. Ah, uh, yes. Back in the days when I thought the bus might stay neat. Okay, so... Hydrogen. This is completely full, as expected because it's been running, but then why is this not working? You're telling me I had it had it the wrong way round? For goodness sake. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh well. Right, that's now working quite nicely. The um, steel's coming through reasonably quickly there. Copper, well, it's just about getting used up fast enough. And the iron is ticking over, but yeah, the copper's still a bit underwhelming. Um, oh, I could do a temporary solution like this by finally wiring all of these up and let the um, buffers fill up on all of these all of these furnaces. <coughs> That'll pull in quite a lot. It's uh, not much of an ongoing solution, but it'll do for now. I suppose the the better ongoing solution. Let's have a look. Um, what is that? That's Jiva Light. Crushed Jeevalite, there we go. So that made yeah, you get crushed Jeevalite, which makes all these things. Or yes, or <laughs> um Oh okay. I thought there was a, a sorting another sorting recipe. Right, if I get some mineral catalyst and mix in some sapphirite, then I get a lot more iron ore out. So this turns into two and one. This turns into four uh, four it's the same number. This one I put in four crushed rock and I get out three useful. This one I put in four crushed rock and I get out four useful, so it's better. But it does require the mineral catalyst, which is made with sludge, which is made from slag slurry or thermal ooh, thermal water. Okay, that's something I've seen on the map and a million other more complicated things. Great. Um, or I can use water and that gets chunk. I don't know. That's there probably is there is probably is a better way of doing that that uses up some of the um, uses some of this as well to get a slight, to get a higher ratio out, but it requires this, um, the catalysts, so that's going to be harder work. 
and I think is going to require me to get thermal water or acid production or something like that. So that's for later. In the meantime, <clears throat> I just have to hope that this um, I can continue using copper fast enough to allow for my steel production to to run at a nice rate. And since I'm not actually using any steel at the moment, that seems to be all right. I notice I'm going to need another radar quite soon. I think I researched better radars, didn't I? Let's make one of those and see how much how much better it is. It's going to take a little while, but that's okay. Oh, we keep talking about um, grey science. That would be a good thing to do, wouldn't it? So that's something that's worth getting the ratios right for, uh, right from the start. So let's see. Grey science takes piercing, one piercing round, one grenade, and two walls. Piercing round to... Oh, and how long does it take to... Ten seconds, but it makes two of them. So I need five of these, and I need piercing round mag every two seconds, a grenade every two seconds, and a wall every second. So piercing rounds take three seconds to make, so I need one and a half, so call it two of those. One of those, because you can't go any lower. Okay, let's do that. I'm running out of assemblers. Let's get some more assemblers. Where on earth are my assemblers? Must be a long way up. Of course they are, because they're one of the first things I start building, aren't they? Ah, here we go. Assemblers. Not quite so one of the first things I start building then. <laughs> yeah. Right. So down here, let's leave a bit of a gap. Okay, so I have normal ammunition feeding into two of these make no, let's put it over here. Two of these making piercing ammunition. Like that. Then I need grenades. I need one of those a second. No, I need one of those every two seconds. So I need four machines making grenades. Uh, then I need walls. They take half a second to build, so I need one machine making walls. Put that down here. And then I need five machines making the um, science packs. Like that. Okay, so we have iron coming in here, and coal. Iron and coal on this one. Then we have copper and steel. Yes, copper and steel. On a belt coming over here, and okay, sure. Let's put let's put the walls and the grenades on this belt. We do walls. There, nice. That's quite compact, actually. Uh, you're making great science. It's amazing, actually, how much easier the science builds are in this compared to the um, the interim things, the the um, the ore, the metals, and the and the and the circuit boards and things like that. So it's it, it's as if they've decided to have all the compli all the difficulty in the um, in the raw materials, and then but keep the keep the basic recipes for the science as they are, which is less difficult. Ooh, I'm using iron up pretty quickly. If I run out of lead, it's probably going to. Ooh, shit! What? Why is there bricks on my? That's why. Yeah, so I'm probably going to run out of lead because of this sort of nonsense got to come out to here, then I can go all the way across to there, which means I only need to have one extra crossing thing. Okie dokie. Um, oh yeah, power, power and getting the stuff out of the things. Yes, good English there. Good job. Now, I think there was red science being produced, yeah, just up here. This is probably going to get expanded at some point. Actually, it's probably going to get completely replaced at some point, because that's a bit rubbish. This is probably not going to get expanded, because I'm going to do again do what I've just done. So I think I'm just going to run this belt up here. It's horrible, but I'm going to do it anyway. But fortunately, I can get belts from there. So, let's see. Have I left enough room to put... No, I haven't. <laughs> what are you doing? You're doing in, so you're short, so you go there. That's fine. I'm sure there's neater ways to do that cabling, but I don't care. Right, let's let this run for a few minutes and see how it goes. I think I should be producing enough of all the resources with these machines, but I did do the numbers in my head fairly half-heartedly, so you never know. Well, the walls have made it to the top. The ammunition has made it to the bottom. So far it's just grenades to um, let the side down, but 
they are making it further through. Maybe they're not making it further through each time. Yes, they are. They're getting there. It would help if I had a short insert up here. There we go. I wouldn't be enormously surprised if I've messed up on the uh, grenade count, but no, no, that seems to be all right, actually. That does seem to be producing them at the um, at the one per assembler second I was expecting. And that means I can start looking into more exciting weapons. He says immediately, looking and not, <laughs> not finding any. Um, blimey, what's all this stuff? Okay, um, so I could defend sniper turrets. That might be fun. What, the, what are they like? A range of 30, speed of 4 plus 0.4 seconds? I'm not sure what that even means. Range of 30, uh, damage bonus 10 times 10 percent times 50. Existing turrets are range of 18, shooting speed 10. Okay, so the they're much much longer range, but they're also much much slower, which is pretty much what you'd expect from a sniper actually. Um, that's okay. I could potentially, in in sort of hot areas like this, I could put a row of them on the other side of the belt. Um, that'll put them what. One, two, three, four, five, five or six squares further away. So they'd still outrange the um, the normal ones. Yeah, let's let's have that because I've just mostly because I've just started creating doing grey science. So I'm um, um, I want to produce some sort of, I want to produce some sort of weapons. The turrets two get me presumably mark two turrets. Yes, which have a slightly longer range, slightly faster shooting speed, and maybe slightly more damage. I'm not sure. <laughs> Vehicle plasma cannon. Nice. There aren't very many projectile damage upgrade. Bullets? Interesting. Uranium ammo, AP. I don't know what these bullets are. Bullet casing, magazine, bullet, bullet. I have no idea. Let's leave that alone for now. <laughs> no idea what that does. Eventually those um will get up there and it'll start researching it. Okay, so that's that's done done something I've done something useful. That's great. Oh and I've got some wall down here that I haven't finished. I am about to punch straight through the middle of that wall though. It's that green thing down there on the radar. Oh, I just built a um, more advanced radar, didn't I? Let's put that in and see what it's like. That is a significantly longer range. That's pretty good, actually. I like that. Uh, it's got me a decent amount of coverage. That was puffer nest. Still don't know what those are. And a, and a swamp tree. Oh, like Okay. Oh, oh, there's some thermal water. That's what I was talking about earlier. Apparently, I need that for more advanced. Um, Iron processing. Phase, multi-phase oil. I think from what I remember that I'm better off trying to find, yes, natural gas like that when I actually get to gas. Uh, 4,000% seems like quite a lot. I think, can I get past, yeah, this looks like, it. oh, and I've got the, I've got the longer underground belts now, so I can actually jump these, I can jump these cliffs and actually carry, carry my bus on, my bus can keep going. And then I'll probably push it off to the other side. So I'll build up, do all my building over this side, and have the bus running down over here. And then I'll hit that crotinia more, and I'll, well, yeah, see if I need more copper by that point. But I'll probably build straight over the top of that and get any extra copper I need from somewhere else. Uh, probably not those because they're a bit rubbish. Oh, three put three million. That's better. Although it's a smaller patch, so I won't be able to pull it out as fast. But I'll have better miners by then probably. But upgrading mining sounds like a job for the next episode. This one's been fairly productive, I think. I've managed to improve my um, metal supplies, and I've got better belts being made, and a few other little tweaks here and there, of course. So I think that's enough for one episode. Thank you for watching, and I hope you'll join me in the next one, where I'm going to start off with um, building up some better miners, and then we'll see how it goes from there.